figure shows part of the path of a ray of light QR traveling in an optical fiber. QR undergoes total internal reflection at R. A. Explain what is meant by total internal reflection and state the conditions under which it occurs. Let's remember the concept of total internal reflection. This concept is special for light rays that are coming from the denser medium to the less dense or the rare medium. Like this light ray that is coming from the source of light from inside water and going to air. The normal thing we know about this case that light that is coming from dense to rare will bend away from the normal like what you see now. This is another light ray that is coming from dense to rare and also it will bend away from the normal. A third light ray will bend much more away from the normal because its angle of incidence is bigger. It's clear that as the angle of incidence increases, the refraction becomes more away from the normal until a special ray from the denser medium comes. This ray will cause the maximum possible away from the normal. The ray will move along the surface. In this case, the angle of refraction is 90. The angle of incidence in this case, which is opposite to the 90, is given the name critical angle. So critical angle is the angle of incidence from denser medium that causes the ray to refract along the surface. But let's take another case. What if the angle of incidence becomes greater than the critical angle? In this case, nothing will go into air. The ray will completely reflect back into the denser medium with angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. This means that we have three cases for light coming from denser medium to the less dense medium. The first case is when the angle of incidence is smaller than the critical angle. The second case is when the angle of incidence from denser medium is equal to the critical angle. The third case is when the angle of incidence from denser medium is greater than the critical angle. In the first case, when the angle of incidence is smaller than the critical angle, this will cause normal refraction, where the ray will bend away from the normal. In the second case, when the angle of incidence equals to the critical angle, the ray will refract along the surface. In the third case, when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, this will cause total internal reflection. Remember that this only studies rays that are coming from denser medium to rare medium. Rays that are coming from rare to dense have no critical angles and do not undergo total internal reflection. So we can answer this question as when light, number one, comes from denser medium to the less dense medium, this is the first condition. Number two, the second condition, Falling with an angle of incidence that is greater than the critical angle, the ray will not refract into the less dense medium, but it will completely reflect back into the more dense medium. The mark scheme gives three marks for this definition. Two marks are for the two conditions. Incident ray in more denser medium, this is the first condition for one mark. The second mark is for the second condition where angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. The third mark is to mention that no light will refract, or you can say it will reflect back into the denser medium with angle I equals angle R. Question B. Carefully complete the path of the ray of light until it reaches the end of the optical fiber. This is an easy reflection question. Just draw the normal, measure the angle of incidence and make an angle of reflection. Then draw your reflected ray.